Hey folks, your OS Reviews are watching our video first look and unboxing impressions of the iFlash drive. This is a fairly low cost accessory for Android, iOS, as well as laptops that you may want to use if you're constantly transferring files like photos, videos, uh, music, so on and so forth. That includes a micro SD card reader so you can pop it onto a computer and read back your, your memory pretty easily. But more importantly, if you have an you know, an iPhone or an Android device, you want to directly read files off of a micro SD card, this is going to be a good option to consider. So you can transfer files as long as you have a file manager installed on your phone, since most uh, Android and iOS devices have OTG supported these days. Uh, but the company also has created their own proprietary application that you can install through the App Store, works with both Android and iOS. Not the cleanest interface in the world, but it does work. So on the back here, you have access to a bit more details as far as how it performs and functions. It's going to work over USB 2.0, so not quite USB 3.0 speeds uh, for transferring files with the computer, but again, it's more meant as this 3-in-1 uh, device. Again, any iOS device like an iPad, an iPod, or an iPhone will work over the Lightning port and also micro USB port for Android devices. So let's take this out and take a quick look at uh, its design. So this is just the adapter itself, and underneath there is a quick instruction card printed in uh, full color. It tells you how to set things up for the first time and uh, how to navigate the app interface to you know, install new files, get rid of new files, so on and so forth. Um, so it seems pretty well documented as well. Finally, there's access just to the uh, iFlash drive device, which is made out of plastic. Uh, but again, it could be a very handy tool if you are a you know, maybe a, a journalist or a blogger that constantly takes photos with your phone and you have to transfer them out every so often. So as you can see here, the design of the unit includes a micro SD card reader on one side and the other side features actually a full-sized SD card reader, which is quite useful, uh, SDHC card reader. And there are end caps that you can pop off for both the lightning port, which is the reversible side for Apple devices, as well as the full-sized USB, as well as the micro USB, which is hidden on the same side, as you can see there. Um, I should note here that there's also a lanyard strap on the top here, so you can hook it up to a keychain and easily store it on a backpack or with your phone, which is a pretty cool application. Um, it's made out of plastic. It feels a little bit flimsy, but not too bad. And uh, it, there are a few different colors that you can also select from. So this is what the uh, you know where the end caps can be popped off. So taking a quick look at the Android side of things, which is a bit more complex in this case, you would have the two full-size USB tip and the micro USB tip snapped into one, as you can see there. And in order to access the micro USB tip, you have to pull out that from the full-size port, which takes a little bit of getting used to. There's a bit of a knob that you use um, either a tool or kind of your fingernails to pull out. And afterwards, you can see that it extends outwards like so. And this part can be popped onto, let's say, an Android phone. And then you simply insert that into place, install the App Store. And afterwards, you can transfer files both into the phone as well as out of the phone uh, using USB 2.0 speeds and then with a computer or with another iOS device. So it seems to work fairly well, obviously not as fast as a flash drive, which has a micro SD or a lightning pin port already, since it's going to technically reduce the speed since it has to read content off of the card first. But all in all, not too bad. And it's a fairly low cost alternative that you can consider picking up for around uh, 20 bucks and under. You can check out more details in our official written review, which is coming soon. But this has been our video first look and unboxing. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the iFlash Drive.